the snapping turtle. Determined little bugger. Determined indeed. Determined to make it across this asphalt. He's made it to the yellow line. He's made it to the yellow line and he's gonna make it a little further. Beating the odds. <gasps> probably got a date. It's probably got a date. It's Friday night. We're here in a little Muskoka town. And he's got a date over there in that water over there. You can bet. Why else would he be so determined? <laughs> he's got a date. Hey there, little mugger, hey. I want to see how he gets up on the... How's he going to get up over the curb? Oh, no, he's taking a break. Let's have a chat, shall we? There, little guy. <laughs> The moment of truth. The moment of truth. <laughs> Perhaps I'll back away. Give him a little breathing room and see if he can actually pull it off. You think you can climb that curb? Hey, you think a snapping curb? They're not designed for this. Crossing highway. What? <laughs> he made it. You determined little bugger. Hey? You determined little bugger, you. Good for you. Hey, buddy. Good for you. Adam boy, you go get there, you go get Big Bertha. You go get Big Bertha, I'm proud of you. And if you think I'm gonna follow you into the poison ivy, you're mistaken, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Carry on, my wayward son, carry on. Find that lovely young lady that you are in pursuit of. And good luck, my son, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Snapping turtle crosses the road. Snapping turtle crosses the road. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Son of a... <laughs> oh, this guy is amazing. The window washer. The window washer. Over the edge. Goodbye. <laughs> and good luck. Goodbye and good luck. The window washer. Over the edge. How many stories? 20? <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. That man. <laughs> that man has got B A double -S, S. That man has got B A double -L, L S. Balls! Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Beer cans.
Beer cans are always an issue. As you have beer cans at the end of a weekend, perhaps, you find that then you have a <coughs> abundance of beer cans. <coughs> they take up all kinds of room. They're a pain in the butt. And so what have we installed here to solve the issue? Yes, to solve the issue, to rectify the overwhelming amount of beer cans. <coughs> it's the can crusher. Right, the can crusher, as you can see, mounted by the wood pile, works like a charm. Observe. But when you have a can crusher, you find you have an abundance of room left over. There's all kinds of room now. Everywhere you look, there's room and space because you've crushed your cans and they're put away in an organized fashion, perhaps in a container that you would then take to the scrapyard or to the beer store. Now, if you take it to the beer store, the beer store is interested to know how many beer cans are in that container. How do we keep track of that? Well then, typically you might be drinking beer if you're crushing beer cans. Therefore, no one's going to count. But if you have an innovative nature, such as Bushman Bob, then you will install a beer can counter. That's right, beer can counter. Now, automatically, this beer crusher will then count the cans. And once you reach all, let's say, 150, then you make note of that 150 and you take it to the beer store and they will be elated to know that you have exactly 150 cans. Observe! <laughs> the automatic can counter. <clears throat> right, I just crushed my own phone. Let's do that again, shall we? Right then, get a little distance on it. Ah, how many cans have we got here so far? Uh, all right, right. <laughs> Observe. <laughs> Bloody hell. Well, it's not always perfect. <laughs> we'll do it again, shall we? Okay, right. Observe. <laughs> ah. 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 Slow motion. impacting the can counter. And now we have, exactly. You have now counted your can. You have now counted your can. Yes, I think I shall patent pend my beer can counter and put it on the internet and make millions of dollars. Millions! <laughs> oh yeah, millions! <coughs> Observe. Oh. Haven't we now counted another can? Yes, yes, counted another can. Perfect. <laughs> the Bushman Bob automatic beer can counter. Automatic beer can counter. Lovely, thank you. Ah, yes, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> How bloody Canadian. Right. A lovely Saturday afternoon. A lovely Saturday afternoon by the water. I'll bet when you have a lovely Saturday noon off, you might go cherry picking. Perhaps do a little apple picking. <laughs> but you're not Bushman Bob, are you? When I have a Saturday afternoon, I go seaweed picking. That's right, seaweed picking. <laughs> Observe. Seaweed. Seaweed. Seaweed, seaweed. Freshwater kelp, you might say. That's right, I break out the flippers. And I go seaweed picking. 
Seaweed picking is part of property maintenance when you have a lakefront property in the district of Muskoka. Oh yes, because seaweed, due to global warming, is now in abundance. It didn't used to be, but now it is. <laughs> seaweed. Instead of cutting the grass, <laughs> I go seaweed picking. Seaweed picking. Ah, lovely. Grab a snorkel. Oh, yeah. Just absolutely freaking lovely. Freaking lovely. Eh? Seaweed, 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 seaweed. And it's not kelp. You can't eat it. No, it's no bloody good. Nope, it might be good for the garden. Maybe I'll try it in the garden. I don't know what to do with it, but now I got a shitload. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Seaweed. A million miles of it. Ha, ha, ha. Well, the grass is cut, and now I can go swimming without getting all tangled up in seaweed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Reptile hunting. Reptile hunting. Looking for water snakes. Oh, yeah. Heard a report of a big water snake in the area. I'll bet when you think about big snakes, you might run the other way. Hey, you might call a reptile collector. Hey, <laughs> but you're not Bushman Bob, are you? When I hear about a good sized snake, I grab my camo <laughs> and I go hunting. Oh yeah. <laughs> Always bring the camel. Always have the camel handy. Ancient creatures from the dinosaur age. Hey, what? Do you see what I see? Don't want to spook it. Out sunning himself, eh? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Would be a tasty, tasty treat <laughs> on a stick over an open fire. When you're looking for something to eat, <laughs> I need nothing like a nice snake. Just peel off the old skin and have yourself a meal. Just like chicken. Oh yeah, beautiful. You can even jerk it up if you like. <laughs> Look at this baby. Ain't that something? Gonna go in for the catch. Okay. Oh. You little bugger, eh? Look at him go. Hey? Eh? <laughs> Got away that time. Well, next time I'll bring a stick. A little fork stick, eh? Ping! You catch him in the back of the neck. Yeah, well, forgot the weapon. <laughs> forgot the weapon this time. The old fork, the old frickin' snake catcher. Oh, yeah. But she was a beaut. Thank you. Thank you very much.